In this video, I'll be covering how to create a line chart with a target range. So maybe you have some sales data, and you, there is an upper target and a lower target. So we'll, we want to see our sales data kind of fall within that range, and if it falls outside of the range, we can take a look and see what happened there. So this is kind of a, a nice little tool for some analysis. So let's see how to go into creating this particular chart. Let's just delete this one and start from scratch. And what we want to do is we want to have our, our columns for our months, whatever interval data you have. Uh, we have our sales data. We've got a upper target amount, a lower target amount, and also another upper target amount. So what, that's, what we're going to do is create a stack column chart. And basically in this value, it's going to be the difference between the upper target and lower target. And we're going to use basically these two columns, this lower target and this upper target here to get our stack column data. So once I create the chart, the graph, you'll see what I mean. So go ahead and select these, this column and press the control key. And then if you want to select non-contiguous cells, we go ahead and select these and go ahead and go into insert column, stack column. So what this does is now it's going to have our little stack column here. We've got our sales data here, our lower target, which is this value here, and our upper target, which is this value. So we want to go and click in the sales uh, value, the sales columns, and change that into a line graph. So we can go up there and go to change ch chart type, go to line, click OK, and now we got our chart value. So we also want to put our line, our sales value, our sales line chart here on its own axis. So see, for example, since we've got a value of 100 up here, Excel's kind of thought, okay, it's going to increase, give us some extra value up here. And we will basically just want to base, baseline our value on the upper target and lower target. So what we're going to do is, once we select it, right click it, go to Format Data Series, and select the secondary axis. Go ahead and close that. Actually, we don't really need to close that because even when we're in the format data series, we can select other values in here and still make changes. So I'll go ahead and select the lower target value. And basically what we want to do here is make it disappear. Uh, what we can do there is select fill, no fill, and the border color, border color no line. So basically that made it, whoops, no fill. And then the border color, make that one disappear. Now that's disappeared, so now there's nothing here. In this in this range here, what we want to do is we want to make this whole band here one solid color, not have these spaces in between. And to do that, we go under, we select our column for this upper target and go under the series option and for the gap width, make that zero. So slide that all the way down to zero and now we've got a nice little band here but you see here we still got these these border lines so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove those but let's not go with the green color let's make the fill a solid color and make that a gray and then the border color we don't want any border color line so we're gonna select no line select close we probably don't need a legend here we'll select that and just press delete and we do not need the secondary um, access. So we'll go and select that and press delete. And let's also just clean this slide, clean, clean this graph up a little bit. Go and select the grid lines here and press delete. And there you have it. We've got our little line chart with a target range. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.